10th question again we have to find and correct the errors. So, 10th question says substituting x equals minus 3 in the 3 a, b, c parts. x square plus 5x plus 4, they have substituted minus 3 and the answer they have calculated is 15. In the b part, x square minus 5x plus 4 substituted minus 3 for x and the answer they have got is minus 2. C x square plus 5x substituted minus 3 for 5 and they have got the answer as minus 24. So, let us check them one by one. A part x square plus 5x plus 4. We have to substitute x as minus 3. So, it will be minus 3 whole square plus 5 into minus 3 plus 4. Minus 3 whole square. First of all, uh, whole square means we have to multiply minus 3 with minus 3. So, minus 3 into minus 3. First of all, it becomes plus. Minus minus is plus. And 3 square is 9. So, it will be 9. Then 5 into minus 3 is minus 15 plus 4. So, the answer should be minus 2. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 minus 15 is minus 2. So, the correct answer should be minus 2, not 15 for the A part. Now, the B part. In the B, it is x square minus 5x plus 4. Again, we have to substitute minus 3. So, minus 3 whole square minus 5 into minus 3 plus 4. Minus 3 whole square is 9. Minus 5 into minus 3, it will be plus 15. And then plus 4. So, we have to add it. So, 9 plus 15 is 24 plus 4 is 28. So, the correct answer should be 28 not minus 2. Now, the last part C1. In the C part, uh, they have x square plus 5x. We have to substitute minus 3. So, minus 3 whole square plus 5 into minus 3. So, it will be minus 3 whole square is 9 and 5 into minus 3 is minus 15. So, the correct answer comes out to be minus 6. Instead of minus 24, the correct answer is minus 6. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.